Well, your fellowship does make sense. You say Almighty God has Jesus returned and has expressed many words, but... They are returned Christ impersonators around. They also say much. Some of them have written books even, and they actually have followers. How are we to discern the words of these false Christs? I would like to hear your views. The words expressed by Almighty God are all truths with authority, but there is no truth in false Christ words. They are preposterous and ridiculous. How could they ever be compared to the word of Almighty God? Right. The word of Almighty God is the truth. Whoever reads it will be sincerely and utterly convinced. Evil spirit is the substance of those various false Christs around. They spout fallacies and lies. They're scared to say them in newspapers or on the internet or be exposed to the light. They fear most that people will investigate, for then how could they be the truth? Pastor Lee, you have served the Lord for many years. You should have better discernment. Every word of Almighty God is very much the truth, full of power and authority, shaking and waking people's hearts. Except for the incarnate Christ, absolutely nobody could speak it. Pastor Lee, you have been reading the Bible and preaching for decades. I certainly believe you must be able to see such a point. Well, of course. I surely find that, yes. Of course the word of Almighty God is the truth. I don't deny it. As you all know, some false Christ deceive by expounding the Bible and prophecies. But my question is, how is it possible for us to discern all of these false Christs? Discerning the true actual Christ from all the false ones is of the utmost importance to us in terms of welcoming the Lord's coming again. Only those who can discern the true Christ from the many false ones can accept the work of God in the last days and then be lifted before the throne. All of those who are unable to undertake this important discernment, they are the foolish virgins. In the end, they will surely be forsaken or eliminated by God. The key to the false Christ's discernment is in seeing through their substance. False Christs are possessed by evil spirits. Evil spirit is their substance. They don't have any reality of the truth. Their words are full of lies, full of nonsense, lies and fallacies also, and the confounding of black and white. They know people all worship Bible knowledge and want to learn about all the mysteries of the Bible. So because they know men think in this way, they deceive people by misinterpreting the Bible, expounding it out of context, and airing varied weird views. Their fallacies sound unusual and very original, as if their interpretation of the Bible is quite profound and mysterious. But can that prove their words are the truth? What then is the truth? The truth is what God has and is, and the reality of all things positive, which represents God's disposition. And it is the truth that enables mankind to know God, the truth that can be the life of man, can save, cleanse, change, and perfect man. False Christs expound the Bible and talk about some weird ideas. But could that be the truth? Could that be used to change and to perfect man? Tell me also, could that make man know and obey God? And could that make man discern Satan and hate Satan? Could that make man break away from Satan's influence of darkness? If all their words can't achieve the effect of improving man's spiritual life, then they are fallacies and heresies and devilish words. God's work is practical. The real incarnate Almighty God in the last days 
has expressed the truths that can save mankind. These truths can help man to know God, break away from under Satan's influence to attain real salvation, to become a person who worships God and also obeys God, and live out the likeness of a real man, live a righteous and meaningful life. This is what I believe to be the work of God. If what people are believing in and following is the true Christ, if they follow the incarnate God, then they will know many truths. Once they've believed eight or ten years or so, their faith, love, and obedience to God will all increase gradually as they go. Their life disposition will also have some changes. Only with these results can it prove that one is believing in Christ, that one is believing in the true God. Many people believe in false Christs for eight or ten years, but never gain any truth or any knowledge of the true God, not to mention love and faith or obedience to God. Isn't it then true that such people have been tricked? These false Christs and evil spirits don't have the truth. This means they can never do the work of God at all. All the words of Almighty God are expressions of the disposition of God in what He has and is, and this cannot be spoken and cannot be imitated by false Christs and evil spirits. False Christs deceive people by using the Bible out of context and misinterpreting the Bible, or else by giving people blessings and promises and pretending they are in the name of the Lord Jesus. It won't benefit people's life entry at all, though. And it isn't going to bring a new way either, much less open a new age. The work of false Christs and evil spirits won't last long. They'll soon break up in an uproar, and they will completely disappear and perish of themselves. This is a fact. Only what is from God will surely prevail and stand. If it's really the work of Christ, it can achieve the result of saving and of perfecting man. It can carry out the will of God, can open an age, and can end the age. This is quite definite. Because God is almighty, the truth that God expresses will exist forever. Even if heaven and earth were to pass away, the word of God wouldn't pass away. Sister Cho, you have explained that false Christs deceive by distorting the Bible and showing signs and wonders, and I feel like I'm sincerely clear in my understanding of these things now. But I do have another question. It's just that some of the false Christs say God's Spirit descends upon them. They claim they're the return of the Lord Jesus and deceive some people. Tell me, please, how do you discern them? I'm happy to explain. It's quite easy to discern. Listen, Christ is the incarnate God and is the flesh that God's Spirit is realized in. It's not after God's Spirit descends upon him that he becomes Christ. Christ is born to be Christ, and he is Christ from his birth. And just as he was born as Christ, he is Christ forever. But not born as Christ, he will never become Christ. Yes. Just like the Lord Jesus was Christ from his birth, not only after the Holy Spirit descended upon him. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove, as is reflected in the words, and see a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This was the testimony of the Holy Spirit, letting all men know that the Lord Jesus was the incarnate God himself. From then on, the Lord Jesus officially performed his ministry and did the work of the Age of Grace. And in the last days, the incarnate Almighty God comes and expresses the truth to testify he is Christ, the incarnate flesh of God. 
The substance of Christ is the life, the truth, and the way. Thus, Christ will surely express the truth when he comes to work. However, those false Christs may very well declare that God's Spirit descends upon them, but they just can't express the truth at all. And it's enough to prove they are evil spirits who claim to be Christ to deceive people. Therefore, those false Christs that claim the Spirit of God has actually descended upon them? They are, in fact, actually possessed by evil spirits. This is the truth. Listen, it is just as Almighty God has said. Turn to page 543. There are some who are possessed by evil spirits and persistently cry out, I am God. Yet in the end, they cannot remain standing, for they act on behalf of the wrong being. They represent Satan, and the Holy Spirit pays them no attention. However emphatically you speak or strongly you cry out, you are still a created being and one that belongs to Satan. You cannot bring forth new paths or represent the Spirit. You cannot express the work of the Spirit or the words that He speaks. You cannot do the work of God Himself or that of the Spirit. You cannot express the wisdom, wonder, and unfathomableness of God or all the disposition by which God chastises man. So your repeated claims to be God do not matter. You have only the name and none of the substance. God himself has come, but none recognize him. Yet he continues on in his work and does so in representation of the Spirit. He is the incarnate flesh of the Spirit of God. He represents the Spirit and is approved by him. You cannot make way for a new age. And you cannot bring the old to an end and cannot usher in a new age or do new work. Therefore, you cannot be called God. Christ is indeed the flesh that God's Spirit is realized in. He is Christ from his birth, and it is not after the Holy Spirit descends upon him that he, in fact, becomes Christ. Ah, I see. Your fellowship has made this very clear. Whether one is Christ is just not up to himself. And if he is unable to express the truth that saves and judges man, if he cannot do the work of judgment in the last days, cannot initiate a new age or end the old age, he must be fake even if he calls himself Christ. Almighty God, the incarnate Christ of the last days, expresses all truth that judges and truth that cleanses man as well, does the work of judgment, beginning with the house of God, ends the age of grace, and ushers in the age of kingdom. Almighty God's word is the expression of God's disposition in what God has and is, and the reality of life man should possess. His word helps to solve all problems of corrupt mankind's resisting and betraying God. It's extremely important as well as extremely precious for all of mankind to know God's work, disposition, and substance. Almighty God reveals all the mysteries of God's 6,000-year management plan and the true story and substance of God's three-stage work. It also reveals how Satan corrupts mankind, how God saves mankind step by step, the necessity and significance of God doing the work of judgment in the last days, how mankind can solve their sinful nature and break away from Satan's influence to find salvation, 
how to be the one who does the will of the Heavenly Father, who is saved by God, and of course, in addition, who will be eliminated by Him. Who can be lifted into the kingdom of heaven? How to divide good and evil? And how God determines the ending for man, and so on. Every mystery and truth involving man's salvation and involving his perfection, yes, Almighty God has uncovered all of this for man. This fulfills the Lord Jesus' prophecy, I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatever He shall hear, that shall He speak, and He will show you things to come. What Almighty God does is the work of the Age of Kingdom and the work of ending the dark and evil old world. The truth He expresses and the work He does fully and completely have proven that Almighty God is Christ of the last days. The Lord Jesus returned. You're very right. Christ can open up a new age and conclude the old age and express the truth to do His work of judgment in the last days, while false Christs are evil spirits in substance and have no truth. So by no means can they express the truth or do God's work. And they can't bring forth new paths or open up a new age. The only thing they're doing is misinterpreting the Bible out of context and deceiving people with lies. Obviously, false Christs are doing the work of Satan evil spirits. They're corrupting mankind. That's right. The devil is a liar since the very beginning. In South Korea, we see often false Christs giving false prophecies and testimonies. They say God's day will come on such and such a day. They're just deceiving people. None of their words have ever been realized. Those false Christs, evil spirits, and deceivers won't last long. It won't be very long until they will be rejected and exposed. There are so many of such things. That's right. After hearing your fellowship, we are all clear about the truth of distinguishing between the true Christ and the false. It is helpful for us to seek the true way. Now, all over the world, nobody but Almighty God expresses the truth to save mankind and does the work of judgment in the last days. The book of Almighty God's Word, which is called The Word Appears in the Flesh, has already been posted on the internet for the whole world to investigate. It tells of the descent of the kingdom of heaven and has spread across the world. Could it be? Almighty God is really the one, the Son of Man the Bible prophesied, Christ of the last days. In the world at this time, Almighty God alone is doing the work of judgment. The word of truth that He expresses has been released in papers and on the internet, welcoming all men's investigation. Now it seems that Almighty God is probably Christ of the last days, is the one we are waiting for. That's right. That's yes, exactly. exactly.